clustering and required sample size. There is a potential correlation in the outcome of households within a given village. They could be similar just because the households are located in the same place. The correlation within a cluster harms your power calculations in the sense that you need a bigger sample size to detect a program effect. To correct the required sample size of the intra-class correlation, let me install a user-written command created by Johan Garrett from the University of North Carolina. Anyone with a registered Stata version can install the new command, typing find it, followed by the name of the command required. This new command that I want to install is called sampclass. Click on the first link and then install it. Well, mine is already installed. This command is quite particular because to execute it, we first need to run the sampsite command. Only then, after, you can type some class that adjusts power calculations to take into account the intra-class correlation. The arguments of the command are number of clusters that we are planning to use. In our example, the clusters are the villages that we include in our experimental sample. We have 87 villages, if you remember. And the raw option needs the intra-class correlation coefficient. We previously saved this value into the macro row. I hope you went through this. Its value is around 0.11. You can also just type 0.11 here. But if you use the global macro, remember the dollar sign before the name. So the required sample size when correcting for the cluster correlation goes from 119 to 160. And this is when the intra-class correlation is relatively small, 11%. We require, on average, 4 households per village in the 87 villages. When you obtain your power calculation results, you need to think if you have enough budget to collect the required information. Otherwise, it will be a waste of money altogether. And this is the required sample size to detect a minimum impact of 600 taka in total household expenditures. When writing a proposal, you need to be realistic, but not pessimistic. Other tools like baseline data, control variables, randomizing at lower level, carefully stratifying, or simply asking less ambitious research questions can reduce the required sample size of your evaluation.